Okay, the famous root vegetables. Yeah. What do you have? We That's always it. do that for Christmas as a side dish. It's very yeah. nice. And you can use any root vegetables. Plus, you can also use squash. Okay. And here we have parsnips, carrots. We have sweet potatoes or yams. Yeah. We have onions. Yeah. Um, we have um, turnip. And we have rutabaga, yeah. and here's another squash that we could mm -hmm. use as well. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do now, I'll chop it up into into little cubes, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish it. Okay. So Anytime. it always amazes me how an experienced person feels all these items day after day. <laughs> well, for the onions, the best thing is you take the top and the bottom off for this particular process yeah. and then you cut it in half because they're easier to peel and they're in half you know the onion sometimes this shell here just sticks to them yeah so anyhow that's it so, so cut them cut the ends yeah. off and cut them in half yeah cut onions. them in half and then take take it off okay. for, for this way of doing it right right here one two we want large cut here we don't yeah. want fine okay four Right? Yeah. And here. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Here we have like turnip, uh, yeah. rutabaga. Okay, yeah. I only take half. Yeah. If it depends how many people you have, right? Right. It really depends on that. So here, I don't want to cut myself. Yeah. So I go like this and yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Like this. You always try to have a flat surface to put them on, then you don't cut yourself. If you're trying to cut, trying to cut it on yeah, the if you, like this, you yeah. know, you you slip and you hurt yourself, and yeah. you don't want to be running around with band aids over the Christmas holidays. So, see, very simple. This is like um, um, real farm cooking. Actually, this is from the south of France, French provincial cooking. They yeah. do these roasted vegetables. And they're amazing. So, see? So if you work with halves yeah. or quarters always on flat surfaces. Always have a flat surface to cut. Yeah. Okay. Here. Uh, carrot. Carrots. Very simple. Take the top, bottom off. Why you always want to take the top off? See, there are little crevices here and little things where tiny little bacteria and whatever, animals, yeah. little eggs, can lodge themselves. Yeah. And you don't want to eat that. So here we just peel the carrot all the way down. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. So do this. That goes, of course, in the compost. Yeah. I used to raise and rabbits. So that's one I their know. Favorite yeah, they love that. Rabbit peelings, yeah. So here. Take this, your hands yeah. here, hold yeah. them very firmly, yeah. press down so you have a half. Okay? Yeah. Here too, same thing. Okay, so you have a half. And I halved it first because it's very whole, uh, hard to hold on yeah. to a long piece of carrot that is longer than your knife blade, right? So right. you can't, you want to have something that has the size of your knife blade so you can get it with one cut. Right. Here too. Okay, here as well. And then we have turnips, same thing. Other uh, parsnips, same thing. We will. Um, are parsnips all over Europe or are they British? Yeah, we have them, parsnips. Yeah. We also use parsley root, yeah. like from parsley, from parsley, which is different. Parsnips are, yeah, they are the root vegetable. Actually, you know the the uh, cabbage, the um, um, squash is not a root vegetable. It grows above right. the root, right? But still, the texture and so on, we just use it in this. Mm -hmm. So are the onions, right? Right. So here again and again. Now these here cut a little smaller because they have a stronger taste. So I want to have them distributed more in my, I don't want to have such large chunks, right? Yeah. Also, when, if you know, 
for instance, the squashes here cook very quickly. I have them here. Mm -hmm. It's good for in squashes. See how beautiful these are if you want to blend over very here. Nice. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. They cook quite quickly, so I do huge pieces. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're cooked faster. Right. So you try to compensate. Make um, the hard pieces. With, yeah, and the, and the ones that take longer to cook, you just make smaller pieces. And then right. they will be cooked evenly. You know, it's it's not a science. Well, it is actually. It's just, yeah. Right? It's country cooking. So here we have a... Yeah, but who would know that? Parsnip. There isn't a man on earth That's that That's why we make that. the movies. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Man, man would man, make big man, pieces of everything. Man would do different. Man would take an axe. <laughs> so here, see, this is a very soft vegetable, so um, larger pieces yeah. here. Right? Yeah. Is and the rutabaga harder than the turnip, I guess? Eh? Uh, rutabagas. Yeah. They're harder. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're harder. You can feel it. Yeah. Right? So here we have a uh, yam, actually. It's not a sweet potato. The sweet potatoes are very light inside. The yams are a little darker. Right? And here, peel them again. Same thing. But I think this is probably getting a little bit boring here to watch all this. So we should come not back. Not for men. It wouldn't be for men. Not for men. Okay. No. Okay. So, see? And maybe not for women. Yeah. Either, well, know. everybody has to learn. Peeling, peeling yeah. something is an interesting thing. I peel differently. Many mm -hmm. people peel like this. Yeah. I peel towards me. Yeah. That's how I was taught in Austria. So mm -hmm. here, same thing. Make yeah, a flat flats. surface. <coughs> okay, here too. Always put it on the flat surface to cut it. Otherwise you... Okay. See? So the yams are kind of hard, so they get small bits again? Yeah, small mm -hmm. bits. They're a little harder. You can feel it when you cut them that they're harder, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Now, you could I also, yeah, you could also put potatoes in these. Yeah. If you didn't make separate potatoes. Yeah. Oops, see, here we go. Um, we are going to do separate potatoes, mashed potatoes or other ones. Mm -hmm. So we don't put potatoes in this. But if you okay. wanted to, see, here yeah. we are. Okay? All this here. Very so, nice. yeah. well, I can go get, actually, because we don't have enough onions here, I think this you can use another onion. It's not like use so much of this and so much of this. It's not. You just use what you have, right? Yeah. And if you had more people, I would use more carrots and I would use the whole, um, what yeah. is it called? Squash. Yeah, the whole squash. This works too here on this on the quick pour. Yeah. Okay. And this here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would be a good video. Yeah. yeah. So Men the world over will appreciate this and, and try to so amaze their, their wives. Yeah. Or okay. Their we'll come girlfriends. back when we put it together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now what? Garlic. Okay. Yep, yeah, this is local garlic. Designer one. Yeah, uh, organic garlic. And the reason how you and, and how you can distinguish a little bit helps a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you look at this garlic clove. You can see the roots yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. And this one, that's yeah. the Russian red. Okay, it looks like you got a antique yeah, pan an there. old enamel pan from my grandmother. Oh Wonderful. My yeah. It's not perfect, of course not. All the old stuff. Yeah. You know? So, but that's but what it's, we cook it's with. Got character. Oh, definitely, it's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful for roasted vegetables because yeah. nothing sticks very much. So it's what got we'll all your do, grandma's love in it. There. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll put this in here. She would have cooked the chicken in here. Yeah. You know? And here we have to leave the garlic out here. We'll right. just take all this, put it in here. Okay. Nice. Blend Powerful. it really nice. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And what we'll do now, pour a whole bunch of olive oil over it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you toss it really nice. Okay. Any reason for olive oil versus something else? Or what else do you want to use? I don't know. Well, canola? regular oil, no, no, no canola. I don't use canola oil. It's all. 
GMO. Yeah, whatever it is, it's, it's mm. just not good. Okay. Uh, good olive oil <coughs> put it on there. Okay. Um, if somebody was so inclined, I'm sure that, um, yeah, peanut oil would definitely work, and also maybe <laughs> coconut oil. Yeah. So here, Himalaya sea salt over here. Yeah. Um, then I take my good garlic in here. Good Just, garlic meaning local. Yeah, local. Oh, by the way, I didn't explain that finished. Yeah. This here is the local Russian red garlic. You yeah. can see the roots are on it still. Yeah. This is the garlic from China. Okay. It's always this is always removed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure the reason why they remove it is because something little critters may lodge oh, themselves yeah. in there so they don't want that on that's what is is my uh, my own reasoning. I don't know if it's right. But that <coughs> when they import it, yeah. So here, garlic. So you got how many cloves there? I put three, in, but you yeah. put five in if you like. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's um, yeah. Here we have herbs de Provence. Yeah. Um, wonderful herbs de Provence. I'll give you the recipe out of my cookbook. We put okay. some on here. Okay. okay. And what we'll do Here's now is just toss it. Yeah, it has one part, and you can make the parts as large as you want. You can use a cup, you can use a spoonful, right? Um, I usually make a lot because I also, our guests like to take some home. And yeah, see. it's one of the favorite things yeah. in the bed of yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Sure. So see, that's what you do. Mm, Stick it in nice. the oven, uncover it. Don't cover it, mm -hmm. because otherwise it gets too mushy. Right. You want to have the roasted golden roasted effect which brings out the sugars in the vegetables okay. and makes it taste nice and roasted and sweet and sometimes after a little while when 325 350 in a regular oven probably we have yeah. a convection yeah. you go like this and you just um or you take a a, a couple of of Spatula. Yeah, spatulas, and you just turn it, and then yeah. you put it back in. Okay. But you have to watch it, otherwise it gets all roasted on the top, and the bottom is uncooked. So you okay. have to turn it sometimes. Okay. Probably takes an hour or so. In the three okay. three fifty oven. Yeah. yeah.